Saving lives, preventing disease, and reversing disease. You are listening to Dr. Richardson On Call, brought to you in part by the Atlantic Clinic of Preventive Medicine, William Richardson, MD. This program is not being used to make diagnosis, administer treatment, prescribe medications, or order tests. The information contained is provided as an educational service. This program is not a replacement for the relationship you have with your health care provider. If you have concerns about your health, please contact your health care provider's office immediately. Hello, ladies and gents. This is Andre 3000, one half of the group Outcast, and you're listening to Dr. Richardson on call on WCLK 91.9 FM. Hi, and thank you for listening to what was at the time Dr. Richardson's very popular and informative holistic preventive alternative health talk radio show designed to save lives, prevent disease, and reverse disease. Furthermore, if you are interested and in need of a holistic alternative medical doctor, you can reach Dr. Richardson at 770-419-4471. That's 770-419-4471. And be sure to visit our website at acpm.net. That's acpm.net. Welcome to this edition of Dr. Richardson on Call. Hi, I am Dr. William Richardson, and today we are going to take a serious look at exotic lab testing that is different from the standard tests that you never knew existed. Exotic, different kind of lab testing that finds the root causes of your health challenges. Exotic, different kind of lab testing that gives us information on precursor, causative, and contributory factors that cause the disease in the first place, enabling us to actually eliminate, reverse, and or prevent disease through changes in diet, nutrition, lifestyle, and environment. Stay tuned for this edition of Dr. Richardson On Call, where today we are going to examine fantastic exotic lab testing that reveals the root causes of disease and thereby permanent solutions to disease. Did you know that studies reveal that 86% of your health and well-being is totally dependent upon your lifestyle, diet, environment, exercise, relaxation, rest, and stress management? And did you know that medical care and genetics account for only 14% of your health and well-being? This means that you are 86% in control of your health through living a healthy lifestyle and building a healthy environment. Dr. Richardson and the Atlanta Clinic of Preventive Medicine specialize in reversing disease, preventing disease, and saving lives. Our Full Service Health Clinic offers complete diagnostic evaluations and medical care, lifestyle and nutritional counseling, detox programs, immune enhancement, permanent weight loss programs, IV chelation therapy, and alternative treatments for most all diseases and conditions. Hello, ladies and gents. This is Andre 3000, one half of the group Outcast, and you're listening to Dr. Richardson on call on WCLK 91.9 FM. Hi, I'm Dr. William Richardson, and I'm inspired and honored and truly welcome you to this edition of Dr. Richardson on Call, where the second and fourth Wednesday of every month from 6 to 7 p.m., we will take in-depth, stimulating looks at the major health issues facing our community today. My friends, the mission of this health talk show, Dr. Richardson on Call, is to reverse and prevent disease as well as save lives. On this show, we request, we encourage, and we really demand your participation. Call us and ask your important questions and give your valuable commentaries when we open up the phone lines. Again, I'm your host, Dr. William Richardson, a board-certified medical doctor with over 25 years of experience. My role on this show is to facilitate our listeners in the how and why of making intelligent health choices in quality medical care, disease reversal and prevention, nutrition, diet, and supplements, cleansing and detoxification, immune system enhancement, and many other lifestyle and environmental factors. Also, as always, I'm joined in the studio by my brother, John Richardson, who is the writer, researcher, and executive producer for this show, to whom I owe many thanks. Thank you, Brother John. And thank you, Brother Dr. William Richardson, and welcome out there once again in Radio Land as I, John Richardson, 
am also honored and inspired to be with you today on this edition of Dr. Richardson on Call. And today we have a very, very, very important subject, topic, Dr. Richardson, once again, very important to our public out there. Mm. And it is exotic lab testing that is different mm -hmm. from the standard test that you never knew existed. Exotic, different kind of lab testing that finds the root cause of health challenges. Exotic, different kind of lab testing that gives us precursor, causative, and contributory factors that cause the disease in the first place, enabling us to eliminate, reverse, and or prevent the disease through changes, you know it, in diet, nutrition, lifestyle, and environment. And so I'm going to tell you a little bedtime story, folks, here, and then mm -hmm. Dr. Richardson is going to jump in and take right. over. So we'll start by saying, my friends, how many of us, when we're not feeling well, then proceeded to medical doctors who did the standard exam and ran all the standard blood tests? And voila, the doctor walks in after all the standard medical care and gives you a clean bill of health tells you that all the tests are negative, then proceeds to tell you that you're fine, you have nothing to worry about. But mm. there's one problem. You don't feel well. How many of us have been through that? In fact, you feel downright awful. In fact, some of us drop dead the next day. No, just kidding. In mm. fact, this Can condition... Happen. <laughs> yeah, right. It, it does happen. In fact, this condition of ill health that the doctors weren't able to find uh, with their standard tests is greatly affecting your quality of life, your energy, emotional... Uh, health, perhaps your relationships, perhaps it's affecting your work performance and definitely affecting your sense of well-being. In fact, you know that your body is giving you clear signals that something's wrong. In fact, you know that you're not well and you're tired of it. Or we have the other standard mm -hmm. medical scenario after the doctor does the standard exam and does all the standard blood and diagnostic tests. Voila, the doctor walks in again and says, nothing to worry about. You've been diagnosed with one of the thousands of popular disease we know in America. <laughs> That's right. We'll call it the XYZ disease, the ZYX disease, the YZX disease, the XYZ disease, ABC disease, kitty cat disease, one, two, three disease. The name, uh, the disease after the illness or uh, after the doctor, actually, scientist disease to make me famous, whatever you want to <laughs> call it. That would right. be cancer, cardiovascular illnesses, gastrointestinal problems. You know the folks. I just named it to have some fun. You know, ABC, one, two, three. Then mm -hmm. the doctor says not to worry about this disease or its symptoms because, voila, we have the latest drugs mm. to keep this disease at bay. In fact, your doctor may tell you need to take this medication the rest of your life. So you can be a loyal customer. <laughs> My friends, again, uh, you know as well as I, unfortunately, standard medical approaches all too often do not cure the disease, but merely suppress symptoms, manage disease, and create more disease in the long run. Finally, if you don't feel well, it may be that the standard medical approach alone that can't find something wrong with you, much less solve your health problem, or if you've been diagnosed with symptoms, the standard medical care uh, model isn't getting the job done, then you might find your answer in what we're talking about today. And that is, Dr. Richardson, exotic mm -hmm. lab tests that you never knew existed. And that's what we All would right. like to ask you, Dr. Richardson. Yeah. Tell us about these exotic different kind of lab tests that the public and the listening audience never knew existed. What are these tests? Why are they important? What are the, how do they uncover the root causes? And why are they not uh, well publicized? Tell us. Well, about I'll tell you, as a as a doctor, a healer, yep. you know, if we're given correct, uh, definitive information about fundamental root causes of disease, what's actually clear. causing the disease or poor health in the first place, then we can work in reversing or eliminating the ill health or disease through the basic things, diet, lifestyle, mm -hmm. exercise, mm -hmm. nutrition, mm -hmm. health supplements, herbs, and other healing techniques where we coax the body into healing. Mm -hmm. And many, it actually does fit in the good medical model, but the medical <laughs> models are incomplete mm -hmm. because of closed minds. Good point. And, uh, you know, for my patient population during or after my assessment, uh, you know, of their health problems, I will recommend some of these specialized exotic 
or esoteric lab tests that find the root cause of these health challenges. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know, and yeah. we want to know if there's an overgrowth of candida or yeast or parasites in the intestinal tract. We oh, want to know right. if, if one of our patients is suffering from environmental exposure to heavy metals like lead, cadmium. Mm -hmm. We want to know if they have mm -hmm. food allergies, mm -hmm, leaky mm -hmm. gut syndrome, mm -hmm. if the liver is sluggish and mm -hmm. detoxing. And Dr. Richardson, these are all the root causes of disease. That's not, right. Not a disease in and of themselves. It's the root cause. The right. precursor, the contributory factor to all these illnesses. Right, right? that's right. And unfortunately, mm -hmm. the so-called conventional or standard medical approaches just merely manage disease, suppress symptoms, and only help to temporarily get us out of health crisis. Mm -hmm. And yeah. ultimately, that keeps you coming back as a repeated customer in drug therapy. And there's a lot of money. A lot of financial issues in managing the disease, maintaining right, disease. Right, especially for drug companies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, you know, the, I mean, with, you know, our goal in preventive medicine is not only to save lives, mm -hmm. but even more importantly, to reverse and prevent your disease in the first place so you ultimately don't need more expensive and invasive medical services. Bypass surgery is $100,000, folks. Or even one of my... Uh, clients uh, was talked into uh, a cardiac cath and mm. became so weakened afterwards I had to give them a vitamin shot mm -hmm, today. Mm -hmm, yeah. So whether it's candida, whether it's heavy metals, food mm -hmm. allergies, leaky gut, or any of those things, mm -hmm. these exotic lab tests give me as a physician more clear, definitive information about the root causes of disease so that actually may be at work in causing disease and therefore we can reverse and eliminate and minimize health challenges in the client by ordering these esoteric tests. Yeah. In fact, we're going to have the guest on. He's the uh, medical director of the Great Smokies National Laboratory. Probably is not probably. They're clear cut the number one testing laboratory in the world on these esoteric tests that we're talking about that folks you don't know about. Yes. You go in, you get a CBC, you get a smack, you get this, that, the other thing in the doctor's office and basically looking for the pathology, the disease, it. What these tests do is give the precursors, they give the contributory factors, they give the root cause of mm -hmm. why a disease would be formulating in the first place. And that's what we're talking about today, uh, exotic or esoteric lab tests that we don't know that exist. There is the technology to find the root cause of these illnesses, Dr. Richardson. There and is, folks don't really know. Is. When you go into the doctor's office, they give you that clean bill of health. You yeah. feel terrible. Well, right. what does that tell you? Right. The well, testing didn't pick up something. Yeah, you know? that's right. And, and basically, there's a lot of closed-mindedness, and we have mm -hmm. to open our minds. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're about. And mm -hmm. I'm actually educating other doctors, as you know about this, mm -hmm. and more people are opening up to it. But we've been doing this, frankly, for years. Yes, yes, and helping a lot of people. We've run thousands of these tests. Dr. Richardson, this is so important, and we're going to introduce our guests a little bit and get involved more in this. Just give us again why these tests are so important and how they help your patients overcome health problems and symptoms and full-blown diseases because a lot of doctors are using these uh, right. that, that are preventive medicine like yourself. That's right. Mm -hmm. Well, what we're talking about is root causes root of causes. disease, uh -huh. illness, or poor health. Uh -huh. Once you know the root cause of the disease, you can coax the body through more naturopathic or natural means into health. But if you only check in for basic or gross or advanced disease mm -hmm. states, mm -hmm. then all you can do is give drugs or surgery or radiation and whatnot to treat those types of thi illnesses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What we're looking for is root cause. Now, sometimes we have to do both at the same uh, def time. Almost definitely. And, That's you know, not to, to cancel out the, right. the standard test at all. Right. It can <laughs> save your life. No, definitely. You know, yeah. guy walked in the office with... Um, uh, heart disease and was having very bad chest pain mm -hmm. and had a blood pressure of 230 over 130. Mm -hmm. First thing I did, well, I gave him oxygen, I gave him nitro under right. his tongue, then get I gave him control. clonidine mm -hmm. and, and everything. And at the same time, we started a chelation program to detox some of those heavy metals. We measured the heavy metals. He had lots of lead, arsenic. He had crazy amounts of these metals. And that's where these tests can come in. We get rid of the metals, rearrange the physiology. The heart disease disappears with the manipulation of the diet. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, Dr. Richardson, maybe we should talk about a couple of these tests. And uh, I think we have our guests on the line. Why don't we tell that folks are probably chomping at the bits. What are they talking about? Oh, what yeah, are these yeah. uh, tests that they're talking about? What are these tests to get to the root cause? of illness? And uh, maybe we should talk about uh, an AMAS test, first of all. Uh, 
and that's an early testing for cancer that yeah, people anti, don't know about? Yeah, anti-malignant antibody screening. That's what the AMOS, stand, AMOS stands for. Mm-hmm. And we have had people who had a positive AMOS test, and then we did a po- you know, positive lifestyle, dietary detoxification mechanisms mm-hmm. and normalize the test, thereby decreasing their chances of future cancer. Yeah. And what about the... Uh, yeah, and, and you, know? you know, people... That uh, anyone who has a history of cancer, anyone that has had cancer in the past, is concerned about reoccurrence, anyone who's been treated for cancer, there's a lot of scenarios where one can use. And it's not just running a test. This is what do you do with the results of the test? You've got to know who to run the test on. And then after you run the test, what corrective measures? You know, a lot of people run tests and don't know what to do. Or they'll right. test you to death. So you need somebody like yourself, Dr. Richardson, or a medical professional that is skilled in the lifestyle, nutritional, dietary, environmental aspects to correct the problems once these testings have been done. Sure, absolutely. We've done that many times with this. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we're talking about exotic or esoteric lab testing folks that you never knew existed. You can go and get some technological help with these root fundamental causes, even nutritional deficiencies, mineral deficiencies, heavy metal uh, liver toxicity or sluggishness, this kind of thing. So uh, right now, uh, though, I guess we can uh, introduce our guests. Sure. Uh, we can introduce our guests. Is that correct? Okay. Uh, right now, we're going to introduce Dr. Patrick Hanaway. He is a medical doctor, and he is medical director of Great Smoky National Labs, and this is the number one clear-cut leader in this field of diagnostic testing that gets to the root fundamental causes of the issue. He is the medical director of this lab. He does speaking, he literature review and testing development, all kind of things that I probably don't know about. Dr. Hanaway, are you on the air with us? Yes, I am, John. Thanks a lot for inviting me here tonight. We are honored to have you, sir. We use Great Smokies every day, probably almost every hour. Yeah, it's true. Dr. Hanaway, it's great to hear you. I'm Dr. William Richardson, one of yep. your uh, clients. Yes, uh-huh. yes. So, uh, you know, God, I, I see you guys been in business for like 18 years or something like this since 1986, and it's so exciting to have you guys on the frontier of this work. What can you tell us, you know, about this work, how it developed, and Maybe you can tell us about some of the tests. We're about to go over some of the tests, but now that we have you on the air, maybe we can go over to CDSA or to the parasitology, some of the popular ones. But tell us, give us a thumbnail sketch of Great Smokies. Oh, yeah. Well, um, Great Smokies started in uh, 1986 uh, Mm -hmm. out of a doctor's office Uh uh, who began to work here uh, in Asheville, North Carolina, who Uh began to work with a naturopathic physician. Mm -hmm. And uh, when Dr. Stephen Berry, our founder, came in, he said, you know, the first thing that we want to work with people on is their digestion and their nutrition, because the gut Mm -hmm. is, uh, you know, our principal interface. It's Mm -hmm. our principal relationship with our environment. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't even know, but, you know, there's about two tennis courts worth of surface area in our intestines. Tennis courts. Wow. And Mm -hmm. digesting food. (laughs) You know, so there's a lot there, and uh-huh. that was where it started. And mm-hmm. so the gut, as, a, as an important, uh, um, well, what would we say? You mm-hmm. know, I mean, it's, it's the key. It's where we mm-hmm. bring in all our food mm-hmm. and how we become, you know, the, these living cells, mm-hmm. living, breathing cells. Mm-hmm. So we, it started there. Mm-hmm. And then over the course of the last 20 years, it's expanded to include looking at those things that you were talking about earlier, Mm -hmm. uh, heavy metal toxicity, environmental toxins, Mm -hmm. looking at food allergies, looking Mm -hmm. at uh, metabolic changes that we see with Mm -hmm. hypertension and metabolic syndrome, and then beginning to look at hormones. And uh, in the last uh, three years, uh, being the first uh, clinical lab Mm -hmm. in the country, Uh, to be running tests on uh, genomics, mm-hmm. looking at the relationship between our genes and our environment. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. It's, it's brilliant work you guys are doing. It is, and we, we use the CDSA repeatedly, and like you said, we start with that uh, gut as well, and uh, that's a very basic test. Well, let's go ahead and discuss the CDSA, the CDSA Dr. CDSA, Richardson and, and Dr. Compre- Hanaway. Yeah. It's the Comprehensive Digestive Stool Analysis. And it measures digestion, assimilation, and really I'm greatly interested in the bacteria that mm-hmm. we get to uncover as well as mm-hmm. the candida. Mm-hmm. 
I, I would imagine that's your number one test. Is uh, I could be wrong. Oh. No, it is. It's it is the one that's tried and true. It's one that we're known most uh, for, uh-huh. and uh, it, in fact, for myself, uh, being a uh, medical doctor for uh, 18 years now, um, mm-hmm. I got sick traveling and uh, mm-hmm. got parasites, and, mm-hmm. and that was how I found the lab about 13 years ago. Wow, okay. Um, <laughs> you know, so it, it helped me, and uh, mm-hmm. that's how I became a lot more involved. I'd been involved in nutrition, but it gave me the tools mm-hmm. that were able to help me, and then I've mm-hmm. been able to help my my clients, my patients mm-hmm. with it as well. Oh, okay. So you have a pregnant. Yeah, I mean, really, when we look at the comprehensive digestive stool analysis, we're talking about that big question that everybody comes in asking, oh, do I have candida? Do I have yeast? Do I have pathogenic bacteria? Do I have the parasites? What's the shape of my digestion? And this test really gives definitive information really and also gives a sensitivity analysis as to what natural agents and even pharmaceuticals can be used to kill or eradicate or eliminate to some degree those pathogenic bacteria in the system. Right, because a lot of people who think they're having candida may have a bacterial yep. infestation yep. or yep. lack of beneficial bacteria. Yep. And it takes a guesswork out. So he says this is his number one test. That's that's yeah. It not certainly surprising. does uh, take the guesswork out. I'm uh, mm. just headed right back into my office right now. But uh, <laughs> the uh, the thing that I find to be most fascinating in what I'm doing work with right now mm-hmm. is evaluating inflammation. And there are some new markers on our, our newest version of that that mm. are some cutting edge diagnostic tools from Europe that help us to look at inflammation. And the really cool part to me is the relationship between um, the the development of the normal bacteria in the gut. We all have normal bacteria in our gut, and our body needs that to help educate our immune system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mm -hmm. and and what is the uh, measurement? Is it a CDSA-2? Yeah, there's a newer one called the the 2.0. It's got a couple of extra markers on it, including the new... um, really cool marker uh, called calprotectin that helps us to see how much inflammation is going on in the gut. Mm-hmm. And that can be a cause for irritable bowel syndrome. It certainly is elevated in inflammatory bowel disease. And uh, it helps us to see when there's an imbalance in the gut flora going on, we see that there is some unusual or uh, out of aligned inflammation that's going on in the gut. And it helps us to figure out what do we need to do? Do we need to give someone a probiotic? Do they need an herb? Do they need an mm-hmm. antibiotic? Or do they just need to change some of their their dietary choices? That and this making? is an example of what the value of these tests are, as the doctor was saying. Mm-hmm. Now, let's talk about heavy metal testing, which is, to me, well, that, the hormones, and then, of course, you have the organic acids, the liver detox panel. But heavy metal testing, for me, um, has been an answer. Of course, I do uh, chelation therapy, and I use the uh, 12-hour test now, and um, it's been very fruitful to to note how just how toxic people are, and mm-hmm. we actually see decreases. What what can you tell us about and, that? And what we're saying in heavy metals, we're talking about lead, cadmium, yeah. arsenic, aluminum, mercury, uh, uh, antimony, uranium, all this kind of thing that we find in people's body in elevated levels. That's right. Yeah. What uh, what what are your find? You you guys are doing the national work, if not? Are you international or national? We're international. Uh, we're international. In, uh, we're so, in about 23 countries right amazing. now. That's amazing. That's amazing. Right. So, and, uh, so what can you tell us about this heavy metal, Zabi? You got the bird's eye view of this thing. Uh, well, um, the heavy metal thing was something that I came into mm-hmm. later. I didn't mm-hmm. get it right away from medical school, and mm-hmm. it was kind of like right. um, it, it wasn't so apparent. And because I hadn't been taught it, it took me a while to figure it out until I started seeing, you know, as Dr. Richardson has my, my patients coming in who had problems with this. And I found that when I started to uh, bind the heavy metals, get rid of the lead, get rid of the ad- a cadmium, and especially get rid of the mercury, it made a tremendous difference in their lives. Yep. Mm-hmm. And there's yeah. different ways to be able to look at that. We look at not only um, elements in the red blood cells, in the blood. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. We sometimes people will sometimes use hair testing. Now, a lot of people say, ah, oh, that doesn't mean anything. Mm-hmm. But it's interesting mm-hmm. to me that you know, you got agencies like the EPA who mm-hmm. are studying um, mercury content in hair to mm-hmm. figure out how much mercury is in the fish in the Great Lakes. It's like the government <laughs> agencies are using it to figure out what's going on. Um, Oh, that's interesting. 
thing about hair is that, um, you know, because our, our hair grows and we take about an inch of it right near the scalp, um, it, it gives a picture of about a three-month period of time. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't tell you if you have total body stores. It just mm-hmm. tells you if you've been exposed for the past three months. That's in hair. Right. But then if we look at, at your urine, and especially if we give an agent that helps to bind to any um, any heavy metals, they, they like to stay hidden in the, mm-hmm. in the fat tissue That's and in different areas in the body. So you hidden. give a, a, um, a little medicine to help bind it, and you say, you know, if you don't have any mercury, nothing comes out. But if you got mercury or lead or cadmium or antimony, it gets pulled out in the urine, and we can say, ah, this is this is someone who's got a lot of reserve, you know. But it's not a reserve that you want to have. No, no. It's I, more like lead paint in doc, the house. Doctor Hanaway, uh, yeah. I don't know. Can can you hang on with us a little bit? It's time for a break. I can. Okay. Um, I can. All right. Well, hang on with us, and we're going to get back to this after the break. We're going to take some calls, too, uh, and we really appreciate you joining us. We appreciate the listening audience joining us. I know this is a little bit of a different subject, but you know it's what we do, Atlanta. So I know you're listening closely and uh, really want to know. So we're going to take a break now. You are listening to Dr. Richardson on call, where today we are featuring exotic or esoteric lab testing that is different from the standard lab testing that you never knew existed. Exotic, different kind of lab testing that finds the root cause of your health challenges. Exotic, different kind of lab testing that gives you information on the precursor, causative, and contributory factors that caused the disease stayed in the first place, enabling us to eliminate, reverse, and or prevent disease through changes in, you guessed it, diet, nutrition, lifestyle, environment. Stay tuned to WCLK 91.9 FM as we continue to discuss exotic lab testing, which truly uncovers the root cause of disease that you never knew existed. We'll be right back. Hi, this is Dr. Marcia Williams with Health Tips. Have you ever had a comprehensive digestive stool analysis, commonly known as a CDSA test? If not, you're probably wondering why this test is so important. Well, for those of you having gas and bloating, abdominal pain, diarrhea, constipation, maldigestion, food allergies, and or bacterial or yeast overgrowth, this is the test for you. This test offers a comprehensive look at the health of the gastrointestinal tract with information about digestion absorption, bacterial balance, yeast overgrowth, inflammation, and immune system function. Imbalances in any of these areas can result in various gastrointestinal disorders as well as many systemic and chronic illnesses. This test can identify these imbalances and suggest therapies and natural supplements to remedy the problems. So for gastrointestinal disorders, think out of the box of standardized testing and consider having a CDSA. This is Dr. Marcia Williams with Health Tips. Hi, and thank you for listening to what was at the time Dr. Richardson's very popular and informative, holistic, preventive, alternative health talk radio show designed to save lives, prevent disease, and reverse disease. Furthermore, if you are interested and in need of a holistic alternative medical doctor, you can reach Dr. Richardson at 770-419-4471. That's 770-419-4471. And be sure to visit our website at acpm.net. That's acpm.net. Hello, ladies and gents. This is Andre 3000, one half of the group Outcast, and you're listening to Dr. Richardson on call on WCLK 91.9 FM. All right, Atlanta. We are back from the break, and you are listening to Dr. Richardson on call. And I'm your co-host, John Richardson, along with Dr. William Richardson, where today we are discussing exotic lab testing that is different from the standard lab testing that you never knew existed. Exotic lab testing that is different in that it finds the root cause of your health challenges, not just the pathology of disease or the disease itself. Exotic different kind of lab testing that gives us info on the precursor causative contributory factors that cause the disease in the first place now enabling us to turn around these root causes, thereby eliminating, reversing, or preventing the disease through those changes in diet, nutrition, lifestyle, and environment, Dr. Richardson. Yes, and it absolutely uh, works. I just Mm want to tell Mm -hmm. our listening audience Mm -hmm. that we've been using these tests for years, 
And uh, really, our principal uh, laboratory we use is the Great Smokies Diagnostic Laboratory. Yeah. We happen to have a guest here. Yeah, and that guest is Dr. Patrick Hanaway, and he is medical director of the Great Smokies National Laboratory, which has been around since 1986 and is the clear-cut leader in this field. They uh, have over 8,000 primary specialty physicians that they service and have over 125 specialized exotic or esoteric lab testing. And Dr. Hanaway, you still there? You bet. Okay, uh, esoteric versus... <laughs> <laughs> exotic. We call it exotic. I didn't know you guys call it esoteric. You told me that on the phone today. Mm -hmm. Why don't you give me a little explanation of esoteric? We uh, kind of hopefully all everybody knows what that means, but let's fill that in a little bit. Well, uh, uh, one of the things that's interesting to me about being in this field is mm -hmm. that it's really like being out there on the cutting edge. And a lot of tests, when they come in, people just don't know about them. They're kind of uh, fringe. You might call them exotic, esoteric. You know, so 20 years ago, a test like the PSA, the prostate-specific uh, antigen, was considered an esoteric test. And, mm -hmm. and 40 years ago, a test like TSH, a thyroid test, was considered esoteric. Isn't that amazing? They were, they were new and cutting edge. Isn't and, that something? You know, right. so no one would ever think that right now. Yeah, yeah, but it's just being out on the front and learning, you know, as Dr. Richardson has, as I had... What helps people? Yeah. Right. Now, that's the thing that's most important. It doesn't matter what you name the test. Let's go out and find out what works for people. Yeah, that, that's yes. really good. That's really good. We are going to uh, invite the public to get involved with us, Dr. Hanaway. We invite you to hang on with us if you can. Yeah, I can, I can hang for about 15 more minutes. 15 more minutes. Family, family, family obligations. Family obligations. <laughs> well, we appreciate you taking out this <laughs> holiday time and cutting in with us to educate Atlanta on these exotic lab tests that get to the root fundamental causes of illness that they never knew existed and that they can get in our office and, and other doctors' offices that know about these things. So we're going to open up the phone lines. Atlanta, we'd like you to get involved. Of course, we want you, the listener, to join our discussion today. What are your questions and comments about this fascinating subject of exotic, fundamental root cause lab test or es esoteric lab test that you never knew existed? We would like your input, Atlanta. Uh, it may be a subject you're not entirely familiar with, and then some of you may be familiar with, but you can call us here in the studio right now at 404-880-9255. That's 404-880-9255. Of course, Atlanta, you can call us on your home phone, business phone, cell phone, car phone, pay phone, or someone else's phone. Just be sure to call us and let your thoughts, your voice be heard. We want to hear from you right now at 404-880-9255. And if you would, let's be very efficient and write those questions and comments down and be sure to turn your radio down when you call in. Again, the number here in the studio right now to discuss exotic lab testing, esoteric lab testing to get to the root fundamental cause of illness is 404-880-9255, 404-880-9255. And I'm looking at the lines just lighting up right now. Atlanta's <laughs> curious about this subject of exotic lab testing that we never knew existed. So, uh, Dr. Hanaway, again, we're honored to have you That's as right. part of the Great Smokies uh, uh, movement. Uh, you know, experience because we, like I said, we we. Well, how long have we been doing this test? Ten, fifteen, yeah, yeah. A long time. Years. Uh, yeah. yeah. Even the owners, uh, the the founders, came by my office and gave me a private in service. Uh, I was very impressed with that years ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. Stephen. Yes, yeah. Stephen Barron. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it looks like we have some calls here. I believe we'll grab a call. Is that okay, Dr. Richardson and Dr. Hanaway? Yeah. Yes. Okay, let's grab a call. Uh, let's go to line two, and that would be Norma in Atlanta. Norma, are you there? Yes. Thank you for calling. Dr. Richardson on call. Okay. Uh, I'm glad you all are talking about gastrointestinal kinds of issues with yeah. regard to digestion. Yeah. My comment uh, is from a personal experience, you know, having problems with digestion. I'd also like for you to address in terms of preventive uh, the colon uh, uh, therapy, uh, mm -hmm. the colonics, mm -hmm. with regard to improving digestion, mm -hmm. and also the component with regard to dental and being able to mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. chew your food, mm -hmm. you know, and break it down, mm -hmm. you know, so that it does, is able to pass through the digestive tract 
broken down, you know, as finitely. Uh, okay. The, the mercury component, mm-hmm. uh, I want to know if if you're specifically talking about mercury that is obtained from the types of food that you eat or water or, or whatever kinds of water piping that you may have in your homes or wherever you're drinking water, or does it come from maybe the mercury that could be a part of your dental uh, you know, uh, filling. Okay, sure. well, let's go ahead and address that. Thank yeah. you for calling, Norma. Yeah. And yeah. also, one other thing I want to address, <laughs> okay. too, about the chelation. Uh-huh. I would like to know whether or not, it, is there an age appropriate uh, time that a person should to, to begin doing chelation? Okay. Or look at that as an alternative to, in terms of testing for metals and so forth. Yeah. Norma, we appreciate your call today. We're going to try to address all that very quickly. All right. Thank all righty. You. Thank you. Uh-huh. Thank you. Yeah, it, it, they're, they're all related. Um, mm-hmm. You know, the mercury in the mm-hmm. teeth can uh, uh, alter the bacteria in the gut, mm-hmm. which can be tested by the Great Smoky mm-hmm. CDSA. And then we measured the 12-hour urine after DMPS uh, chelation to get rid of the mercury out mm-hmm. of the body. Mm-hmm. The mercury comes mostly in the form of amalgam fillings and then the larger... Uh, fish uh, from the sea, mm-hmm. uh, Doctor mm-hmm. uh, Doctor is Hanaway. It? Hanaway, mm-hmm. thank you, Doctor Hanaway. What else would you comment on? Well, I think you uh, you covered the first point right there. That uh, I think is a key one is that you know mercury from amalgams and and especially from from tuna fish. You know, you may, mm-hmm. A lot of people may not be aware, but the government has you know, recently put out um, rules that say they don't recommend that people eat more than a can of tuna fish a week. Wow. Um, there goes the tuna fish casserole. Well, you know, <laughs> it's, 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 changed my, it's changed what we eat in my, my house. My kids <laughs> just love tuna fish. Right, right. We don't give it to them as much anymore. But, you know, that's one place to look out for. And, mm-hmm. and there's an effect that these metals, uh, these heavy metals, these toxic metals, can have on the functioning. Um, and then where it plays out a lot of times, it ends up being in the gut. And so we talked about that a little bit earlier in this. Um, and Norma, she asked about uh, things like colonics, and there's a lot of different therapeutic tools that can be useful. And, and um, I'm a you know, family doctor and you know, been in practice for 17 years uh, with my, my wife, and, uh, who's also a family doc in our practice. And um, and we first look to see wh- where does a person have problems going on that helps to guide us to figure out, do we work on the gut first? Do we work on the hormones? Do we work on, you know, looking at uh, heavy metals? And mm-hmm. it's kind of, you know, I'm like you in that I'm going to look at the whole person and find right. out just what's going on, and that's going to guide me to help start making some changes. And, uh, mm-hmm. you know, um, then that's going to determine where I see the imbalances are going to determine what kinds of therapies are going to be most right. helpful. And, and by that, taking that, this bigger mm-hmm, view, mm-hmm. Um, we have a, a better chance of helping people heal. And that right. should be the goal of the physician. That yeah. should be the goal of the medical practitioner and, to help yeah. them heal. And, you know, Grace Smokies always has great physicians and naturopaths around. That's a compliment to you. And, uh, you, know, I, you know, you just look at one test, the C- CDSA, as far as relating it to colonics, if, if the markers show uh, poor transit time, then colonics are indicated. Mm-hmm. Uh, if if uh, your heavy metal test shows an overpouring of mercury, then you need chelation. I just want to make a comment before we go to the next call. Yeah, it's a good point. And you, you should understand, these are the indicators of problems that are root cause of illness. If you have constipation, you are recirculating toxins in the body, which Mm -hmm. can breed all kind of illnesses, arthritis, cancer, headaches, Mm -hmm. fatigue, all these kind of things. These are the root cause. People are taking pills and doing all kind of other kind of things to Mm -hmm. treat this, and they're not dealing with the root cause. You know. Right. Antibiotics can cause breast cancer mm-hmm. if women take them too much, probably mm-hmm. because it ruins the gut bacteria. Constipation can cause breast cancer, as an example, mm-hmm. because they recirculate the estrogen that may be cl- mm-hmm. cleaved Indeed. From, Indeed. Bad, from bad bacteria. Uh, Norm also asked about age. These things are not less necessarily age sensitive. Somebody could get chelation early, late. It depends on the symptom. Right. And you need a practitioner that is skilled in this. Let's take another call. Sure. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we will go question. to uh, next to Arthur in Decatur. Arthur, are you there? Yes, I'm here. We appreciate you calling today. Uh, what is your question or comment? Please turn your radio down. 
Okay, I don't have a really uh, specific question, uh -huh. but uh, I, I want to know about test as far as uh, helping with the treatment mm. or therapies related mm. to chronic fatigue yeah. syndrome. Yeah, mm. yeah, that's good. That's that's, good. that's a very good doctors. Let's jump all over yeah. that one. Well, <laughs> <laughs> every test on the list. No, you know, go. Uh, Dr. Hanaway, one of the things I look at it when someone comes in with chronic fatigue is: Are they getting enough sleep? Are they going to bed on time? Mm -hmm. Are they looking at a movie from twelve need a midnight test for that. Right. to two a.m.? <laughs> 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 okay. Then we'll check the adrenal status. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the adrenal gland, and that's a test that we do. Mm -hmm. uh, the adrenal gland will be too high or too low, I'm sorry, in the morning when it should be up and then too high at night when you should be down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there's a test for that. Yeah, and so there's some uh, mm -hmm. spit, some saliva tests that mm -hmm. we have that look at that and also right. looking at the thyroid gland, that's mm -hmm. important in there. Those are things, those are tests that I, that I use. Mm -hmm. And then um, sometimes when I'm working through with a person and I, I'm trying to dial it in, but it's just not making a good picture. We've got some other tests, uh, some urine tests that look at not only your amino acids mm -hmm. and how you make uh, neurotransmitters mm -hmm. for your brain, mm -hmm. but also tests that look at uh, what are called organic acids that can give us kind of a, mm -hmm. a big, broad picture view of where's mm -hmm. the imbalance? Is it candida? Is it bacteria in your gut? Is it synthesis of is it absorption? Is it vitamins? Is it minerals? And you mm -hmm. can kind of get a That's broad right. picture to help dial in where to go. Well, I also go back to what we're talking about, comprehensive digestive stool analysis. If your gut is off, you can get chronically fatigued because mm -hmm. you're not absorbing your nutrients and metabolizing right. them appropriately, and you got the candida uh, causing problems and making your system toxic and draining off the... All these kind of things. So, again, a skilled practitioner, and I think Great Smokies is the one who refers, when people call you guys or mm -hmm. ch check out your website, you have a whole list of physicians that you have in your, your bank, your data bank, that, are, that, you, that you know are skilled and experienced with this type of work. You just don't refer them to Joe Blow, whatever. It's a doctor that knows this kind of work and also can recommend what changes to make and which tests to run. Right now, when uh, patients call or write us, which they do, mm -hmm. um, we refer them right back to the doctors who are in their area, yeah. who have used our testing right. and who That's feel, right. uh, you know, have some knowledge base on using it. So That's right. we want to drive it back. We're not a clinic, per mm -hmm. se, here. We're a laboratory. And, you can't uh, service the whole planet anyway, I, well, you know, like that anyway. <laughs> you know, what, what my, my bigger interest and goal is is in about educating mm -hmm. doctors mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. a way mm -hmm. to help people to heal, which is what I thought I was going to learn in medical school. <laughs> right. It was, didn't you both quite are. happen. Da -da -da. That <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Good point. Well, we're going to run to another call. Folks, Atlanta, we appreciate your participation tonight. The number here is 404-880-9255. 404-880-9255. We're talking about exotic lab testing, esoteric lab testing that you never knew existed that gets to the fundamental root cause of disease. We're going to run next to Clifton Indicator. Clifton, are you there? Yes, I am. Thank you for calling. Uh, uh, first of all, it's a good show. Thank you. My question is on um, right now, managed care seems to be going to a point in which they want to do fewer tests. Yes, that's How right. would one go about <laughs> uh, having these tests covered by their group insurance? Hmm. Well, that's a tough question. That's I'm a gonna tough run, one. I'm going to jump on that one, <laughs> uh, Cliff, because that's a, that's a hard question, yeah, and yeah. we see that happening over and over again. Yep. And um, so I know even in, uh, in our, our company that I work for here, one of the things that we're recommending people do is, is get into something like a medical savings account or, or something where they can take control over yeah. their own yeah. uh, health yeah. choices and not have the insurance companies be the ones dictating what's going on. Yeah. Um, but there are some of these tests are covered, and some of them aren't because they're mm -hmm. so new and they're so kind of on right. the pioneering edge, cutting edge. That um, that the the uh, powers that be that are you know, the insurance companies are trying to you know save their money, even mm -hmm. though you've given it to them, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> they're not wanting to share it back with you. <laughs> mm -hmm. And right. so uh, that's kind of my recommendation to to help people in that way. Yeah, yeah. we would we would also say that. Uh, you know, a uh, lot of insurance doesn't cover massage, it doesn't cover colonics, it doesn't cover nutritional supplements, it doesn't cover nutritional counseling, doesn't cover a lot of things 
but it's like how much do you value it doesn't cover chelation therapy it's like right. how much do you value your health you could wait right. on the insurance company to approve or to cover some we get some people coming to office well does insurance cover blah, blah blah and they're not willing to invest in themselves because that's sometimes what it takes and you can get every uh, standard medical test in the world as I've tried to present in the beginning of our show mm -hmm. and yes. drop dead the next day. It's not going to help right. you at all because it's not right. getting to the root fundamental cause, as he said, the cutting edge of these tests. And so that's what we need Let to Let me just say very briefly yeah. that um, if, if we were able to do the alternative treatment for, say, heart disease, okay. we could save a lot of money. Give an example. Open heart surgery. Mm -hmm. I have a patient who had mm -hmm. open heart mm -hmm. surgery three times. You know how much money that is? He was 300 on and some thousand dollars. Maybe, today, right? yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and he mm -hmm. was on seven uh, drugs mm -hmm. taken every day. Mm -hmm. Couldn't walk a mm -hmm. half a block without pain. And mm -hmm. now because of dietary manipulation, heavy metal detoxification, free. Free. and all that, mm -hmm. uh, the man is off of all seven drugs. He is free of pain. Mm -hmm. He's like 77 years old, walking mm -hmm. three and four miles. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the money that was saved can be used uh, for something else like cancer or some other harder diseases. Mm -hmm. That's just how I look at it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're dealing with. Atlanta, are you about to get 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 on with? Uh, are you? Do you have to move on, Doctor Hanaway? Um, I'll tell you. I'll sit around for one more call, and then I, I gotta get going. Okay. okay. Well, let's grab another call again. The number here is four zero four eight eight zero ninety two fifty five. Atlanta four zero four eight eight zero ninety two fifty five. Let's take Diane in Atlanta. Diane, are you there? Good evening. Thank you for calling, Diane. Thank you so much. Good evening, doctors. I, I'm, I'm riding yes. up 20, and I heard root causes, <laughs> yep. and I just pulled over. <laughs> I just kind of came in kind of on the end of it. Uh -huh. But uh, how about this? I'm 48, mm -hmm. and last year was diagnosed with two chronic illnesses, thyroids and type 1 diabetes. Uh -huh. Type 1. <laughs> Hmm. And looking for the root cause, mother or father, siblings, nobody has these things. So I, when I heard root cause, I said, I have to pull over. Where could I get the test? Where's the website? Mm -hmm. Y'all help a sister out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I, I would say, you know, I'm, I'm not getting uh, anything for this. The thing I'd, I'd recommend, first of all, is seeing someone like Dr. Richardson, because if you're getting diagnosed with type 1 diabetes at 48 years old, <laughs> I've only seen, I've seen two patients in my career who've had uh, type 1 diabetes diagnosed after 30 years of age. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. um, that ain't right. <laughs> yeah, there's something, <laughs> something right, sound there. right in the first and, place. Um, yeah. uh -huh. You know, so you need to, to dial into that. And, yeah. uh, you know, there's a lot of different kinds of ways to look at it. But m when I was in medical school, I wanted to be like an endocrine doctor. I thought that mm. was the coolest thing. Yeah. But then what I found was is that they didn't really look very deep. They, like, got to a certain level and they said, oh, well, that's a different part of the body. That's the brain. I'm not going to deal with it. Or that's the gut. I'm not going to deal with mm -hmm. it. And so you need someone who's going to take a big view like Dr. Richardson and help get down and be like an investigator for you and an advocate for you to really dial into what's going on and get to that root cause mm -hmm. because it's there. They ain't, there's no doubt about that it's there. Mm -hmm. Right. That's right. All right. So, uh, yeah, that, that would be the thing to do. And what I'm going to do is give the website and our contact information and the rest. Uh, Dr. Hanaway, you probably have to cut on out. And I do. we're going to just appreciate you for joining us in this show of exotic or esoteric lab testing that the people don't know about. You've been a tremendous addition to the show, Dr. Richard. Really appreciate your input, and I'll be talking to you guys to get more education regarding the new test you got coming out. Yeah. That's great, and I just want to say thank you, and uh, mm -hmm. I think Atlanta has a lot to give thanks for, for uh, your presence and being there, so y'all have a good holiday. You do the thank same. Thank you. You do the same. All right. Talk to you later. Uh, Atlanta, for more information on preventive holistic medicine on Dr. Richard is medical practice and to get our information on these exotic labs we actually have a package that we will mail to you we we'll have a website that actually has a lot of these tests described you can actually print it out or uh, uh, review it it's called the exotic lab test you can click on that and look at all these different lab tests that we have explained and the website address is www.acpm.net that would be www.acpm Dot net and right now we're going to go to a health tip and then okay health tip. hi i'm dr marcia williams with health tips 
Did you know that our environment now contains increased levels of xenoestrogens such as dioxin and synthetic chemicals? The continued exposure to these environmental estrogens significantly increase the risk of a woman's developing breast cancer. However, there are certain phytonutrients that can help improve the way a woman detoxifies both her own estrogen as well as these xenoestrogens. One such phytonutrient is lignans, which are found in flaxseed oil. Researchers have suggested that every woman take at least one tablespoon of flaxseed seed oil daily to reduce the risk of breast cancer and minimize the potential for it to spread should it occur. And in addition to anti-tumor capabilities, lignans have also been found to be powerful antioxidants possessing antiviral, antifungal, and antibacterial properties. So look for lignin flaxseed oil in your favorite health food store. It should be expellipressed, unfiltered, and in the refrigerated section. This is Dr. Marcia Williams with Health Tips. Folks, we're now going to take that break. You're listening to Dr. Richardson on call, where today we are featuring the exotic lab testing that is different from the standard lab testing that you never knew existed. Exotic, different kind of lab testing that gets at the fundamental root cause of your health challenges. Exotic, different kind of lab testing that gives you those precursor causative and contributory factors that cause the disease in the first place, enabling us to actually eliminate, reverse, and or prevent disease through diet, lifestyle, nutrition, environment, so on. Stay tuned to WCLK 91.9 FM as we continue to discuss these exotic esoteric lab testing, which truly uncovers the root cause of disease that you never knew existed. We'll be right back. This is Dick Gregory. Dr. Richardson on call will continue after this break. With over 25 years of experience and success, Dr. William E. Richardson, MD, and his experienced staff of professionals make up the Atlanta Clinic of Preventive Medicine. They specialize in reversing disease, preventing disease, and saving lives. They specialize in treating potential causes of ill health, not just suppressing symptoms. They specialize in blending the best of both worlds of conventional modern medicine and holistic preventive medicine. For more information on Dr. Richardson, MD, and the Atlanta Clinic of Preventive Medicine, online at www.acpm.net. Hello, ladies and gents. This is Andre 3000, one half of the group Outcast, and you're listening to Dr. Richardson on call on WCLK 91.9 FM. All right, Atlanta, we're back from the break. You're listening to Dr. Richardson on call, and I'm your co-host, John Richardson, along with Dr. William Richardson, and today we're discussing those exotic lab testing that is different from the standard kind of lab testing that you never knew existed to get to the fundamental root cause of illness. And Atlanta, we're going to run right to another call. We don't have much time. We're going to run to Kim in Powder Springs. Kim, are you there? Yes, I am. All right. Okay. I listen to your show often, and I and I always especially catch the ones about fibroids. Uh-huh. And with you mentioning these tests, could one of these tests be used to kind of find the root cause of yes. fibroids? Yes. yes. Let's go ahead and address that quickly. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, the one test that would be would be the female hormone profile because that would take a month long look at the um, f- the hormones coming out from the ovaries that can overstimulate the growth of the uh, endometrium mm-hmm. or the or the or the muscle of the uterus. So mm-hmm. that would be the test. Also, there's heavy metal testing to check for heavy metal toxicity and overabundance of calcium in the fibroid itself. Mm-hmm. And then we have to check the gut, the, mm-hmm. the bowel, the comprehensive di- digestive stool analysis mm-hmm. to measure whether you have good or bad bacteria, mm-hmm. candida, and mm-hmm. all that stuff that can set up cravings and pull those abnormal fibroids in. And also set up constipation, which would recirculate the toxins in the system. If you have a propensity to get fibroids, there's the fibroids. All right, that was a great question. We're going to run to another caller very quickly. That would be Tracy Thomas. We don't have a lot of time. Tracy, how are you doing today? Real good. How are you? Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> how are you doing, Tracy? What's Real good, Dr. Richardson. This Real is the good. Black Vegetarian Society of Georgia. Yeah, of Georgia. Uh, president. President. And founder. What do you have to say today? Uh, hey, I want to invite the public to join us on Sunday All right. for our annual vegetarian harvest potluck. Yeah. Featuring mm. good food. Yep. Door prices. Yep. And a fantastic raffle. Yep. And we're going to be spotlighting our volunteers of the year. And, 
in addition to that, the potluck will also have vegan raw and cooked food. Mm-hmm. So it's an opportunity for your listening public to join us for um, to break bread with us. Good mm-hmm. food. Mm-hmm. You know, get some recipe. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Yeah. I've been to that, and it's great. Yeah, it festive. is great. It is great. And this is a nonprofit organization. We uh, invite you to support it. And it's the Black Vegetarian Society of Georgia, and they're having a potluck. Potluck on Sunday on at Sunday. the African Cultural Center across from the West End Mall. Mm-hmm. So it's accessible by Mara, mm-hmm. and it's walking distance. And so there's no excuses. For more information, if they wanted to call, more information. 770 621 And there we have it. Okay, 770 621 5056. All right, Give Tracy. Us a call in. Find out more information. Thank you for calling. Great. And thank you. All right. You guys have a good night. Take care. Bye. Atlanta, we invite you to stay tuned for Jazz 91.9 FM, uh, Jazz at Sundown. And uh, that's with Renee Williams at 7 p.m. in just a moment. And uh, we've been talking today about exotic lab testing that you never knew existed that gets at the fundamental root cause of illness. And for more information on this subject, to get a package in the mail on this subject, to uh, get more information about Dr. Richardson's medical practice, preventive holistic medicine, this whole kind of uh, treatise on this, www.acpm.net. That's www.acpm.net. Dr. Richardson, we feel this subject is very important. Yes, and we had a great, great show. We had a great guest. And callers were excellent as usual. Atlanta, we love you. We thank you very much for your participation. That's right. And we want to remember our underwriting people that sponsored this show, the Atlanta Clinic of Preventive Medicine, Dr. William Richardson, MD, DetoxMovement.com, Dr. Marsha Williams, ND, Pepper's Restaurant, Basima's Absolute Therapeutic Massage, Loving It Live, Raw Foods Restaurant Delivery, American Fidelity Mortgage Corporation, Omnitech Institute, We want to thank our producer, Harriet Harris. We want to thank our engineer and call screener, that's Tracy Ross and Lorenzo Kemp. We want to uh, thank the executive producer, that's me, John Richardson. Mm -hmm. And we want to thank Thank director. Thank you, brother John. Thank you, brother John. (laughs) Thank you, director director of talk radio at WCLK, uh, Reggie Hicks. And uh, for Dr. William Richardson, this is John Richardson signing off and inviting you to join our next edition of Dr. Richardson on Call, December 8th at 6 p.m., where we will be discussing naturopathy, live cell analysis, homeopathy, and bioenergetic medicine. We will have a guest. We invite you to join us December 8th at 6 p.m. on Wednesday. We'll see you in, I think, two or three weeks. Yeah. Take care, Atlanta. Hi, and thank you for listening to What Was at the Time, Dr. Richardson's very popular and informative, holistic, preventive, alternative health talk radio show, designed to save lives, prevent disease, and reverse disease. Furthermore, if you are interested and in need of a holistic alternative medical doctor, you can reach Dr. Richardson at 770-419-4471. That's 770-419-4471. And be sure to visit our website at acpm.net. That's acpm.net.